Ready? Okay. As most people wouldn't, I bet you've probably never thought about what it would be like not to have any hair. It's a scary thought, right? Well, when I was three years old, my hair started falling out. Three years later, after seeing many specialists and doctors all along the East Coast, I was diagnosed with alopecia. The disease caused all my hair to fall out by the time I was four, and I haven't had any hair since. Um, growing up, people often thought I had cancer. They would stare and they would point. You know, people are curious, so it's just in our nature to just wonder what's wrong with this little girl. Um, so today, I'm going to inform you on what alopecia is and how it affects somebody. Alopecia is an autoimmune disease in which the hair is lost in some or all areas of the body, the scalp being the most common. Um, there are three different types of alopecia. Um, alopecia areata, alopecia totalis, and alopecia universalis. Um, alopecia areata is the most common and the least noticeable form of alopecia. Um, patchiness in the scalp, the legs, the arms, and a lot of times in the beard. Um, the next form of alopecia is alopecia totalis. Um, this is complete baldness of the entire scalp and it affects nowhere else on the body. Um, as you can see, this girl in the picture, she still has her eyebrows and her eyelashes. So that's the only thing that affects is the scalp. The third form of alopecia is alopecia universalis. Uh, universalis is the most severe and least common out of all the alopecia. Um, it is complete body hair loss head to toe. You don't have any hair. It happens in one in 200,000 people. And this is the kind of alopecia that I have. Um, with alopecia, there are no symptoms other than not having any hair. Um, you're not sick, you're healthy. What happens is your body, it fights itself to like get rid of invaders and it sees its own tissue as invaders. So it will not allow the hair follicles to come through the epidermis. So leaving you with no hair at all. And for those of you wondering, it is not contagious. <laughs> Who does alopecia affect? 2% of the world's population. Men, women, children. Um, it's way more common in children because it starts at an early age. Um, it's usually not found until kids start growing hair, which is not an infant. It's usually around like three to four years old. Um, it can come on at any time, any age. I was 30. The best man at my wedding, he is 27. He just developed alopecia in his beard. He had alopecia in his beard for about six months, and then it just vanished. He no longer has it. Crazy um, An autoimmune disease can often be linked to hereditary um, issues, but not always like closely connected. Um, we have went back, I mean, generation after generation in my family to find somebody with alopecia. Nobody's had alopecia, and nobody's had an autoimmune disease. So it's pretty crazy that I'm just the first one to pop up and have alopecia. Um, this is Bennett. Bennett is my nephew. He is 11 months old. Um, when Bennett was born, he was really, really sick. We couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. He spent the first eight weeks of his life in the NICU. They had tests, I mean blood work. He was really, really sick. Um, when Bennett was six months old, they discovered he had an autoimmune disease. Um, Bennett doesn't have alopecia like I do, but Bennett's autoimmune disease he has a very low deficiency of immunoglobulins in his blood, so he doesn't produce those. So he's very susceptible to being sick. He can't go to daycare. He has to be home all the time. Um, when he goes out, he has to be like, you can't touch him. It's very, very, at this point in his life, as, as a baby, it's very dangerous for him to be around other kids and other people. Um, there is no cure for alopecia. Um, it is not curable, but it is treatable. Um, often, dermatologists and doctors prescribe corticosteroids. What they can do is they inject it into the bald spot, um, and your hair will grow back sometimes, but not all the time. They only do this for the mild cases of alopecia, like for the alopecia areata. 
um, they will not do it if you have totalis or universalis because it's pretty much pointless. Your hair is not going to grow back. Another um, treatable thing for alopecia is hair prosthesis, which is what I have. Uh, it's not a way. Um, they are chemically bonded to the head. I get one every four months, and I have to go to a specialist to get it done. It is kind of painful, but it is worth it. I mean, it's a lot harder for women to have this disease than it is for a man. You know, women, we like to be pretty. We like to have, you know, our pretty hair. So when I get these, I feel feminine, you know. Um, I went without hair for 16 years. I did not get a hair prosthesis until I was in 11th grade in high school. I've had one every since. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. That's the point of this message. You never know who somebody is. You never know what they have. Um, I've dealt with this all my life. It's a lot easier for me to talk about it now that I have had it for so many years. So I hope you now understand what alopecia is and you can point it out to somebody. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll answer any questions that you have. Okay?